let's go sailing in a breeze now. We've got the best close haul. Out in the open, Chesapeake. Romping along like this is absolutely normal. Note that there is plenty of buoyancy left in the float bow. We're definitely not overdriving the boat. It's common for trimarans to actually drive their floats through the wave crests, particularly with ocean waves. Just the right amount of sail for the breeze. Because the Genoa is rolled up part way, that is roller reefed, the Genoa is definitely strong enough to stand in a good blow. Partly set. Note that water coming up through the net is water that would ordinarily pound on the underwing. That's why the open wing design. She loves it. We're reaching now. The sheets are started out. We've got less healing, more speed. Shooting between my legs. I'm standing on the spreader. This is a great view of the sails in their work of actually bending wind. It's a beautiful illustration. It's that curve in the sails that is deflecting the wind aft and pushing the sail forward. These are our mast steps. A piece of three by three by quarter inch aluminum angle bolted on in the pattern shown. All fasteners drilled and tapped into the mast. They've been completely adequate for all these years. I can't imagine why all masts don't have steps on them like this. Because what it allows you to do is hoist the bosun's chair up to the masthead, which is right there. Let it hang there and then climb up by the by the steps. Right here, there's a step on this side and a step on this side in the same place at the very top. So you got a place to put your feet while you're climbing into the bosun's chair. And uh, from there, you can sit comfortably and work at the masthead. There's all kinds of stuff that goes on at the masthead and it needs maintenance. You've got to be able to get up the mast without somebody hauling you up on a string. You gotta be able to get up the mast without somebody hauling you up on a string. Note that the dinghy is doing okay in these conditions on the side deck, but uh, when we put to sea, we prefer to tie it up onto the top of the stern castle and get it away from the waves. If the oars are properly stored in the dinghy, the dinghy can be launched with the oars in it. It's easy to do. This is a nice little dinghy. And it's also easy to undo. That is, you can pull it out uh, with one hand just like you launch it. It's, in, it's important to be able to get the dinghy out. We never leave it dangling from the stern at night. It's too tempting to thieves. We always pull the dinghy up. I've spent many an hour here looking out the Stern Castle window watching the wake peel away. It's a great view.
Although I apologize for the jerky video here, my computer editing program is not behaving properly. There seems to be nothing I can do about it. But this is the best that sailing gets. Romping downwind, wing on wing with the Genoa pulled out with our 20-foot whisker pole. Under autopilot, it's just a wonderful ride as she dances over the waves. So I'm Jim Brown wishing you and Scrimshaw fair winds.